Good morning, Calvary. I'm Pastor Pete, and I have your word for the day. Today's psalm is from Psalm 58. And this psalm can be summed up with an overarching theme that God judges the evil of man. When we read this psalm, we're really confronted with this idea that some sin is just so evil that we've got to have God's justice come in to take over and to punish the sin and to make it right. I mean, when we think about things like the Manson murders back in the 60s, or we think of sins like genocide, or the human destruction that's going on in the Ukraine, or even people who inflict evil and abuse on children and vulnerable populations, we look at these sins and we're just like, oh, this is so bad. How's this ever going to be made right? And this psalm is a psalm that is like a prayer asking for God's justice to be done in the cases of evil. And I want to point out to you just a few verses. Uh, look at verse 4, going on to verse 8. So it says, The wicked, they have venom, like the venom of a serpent, like the deaf adder that stops its ears so that it does not hear the voice of charmers or the cunning enchanter. O oh God, break the teeth in their mouths. Tear out the fangs of the young lions, O oh Lord. Let them vanish like water that runs away. When he aims his arrows, let them be blunted. Let them be like the snail that dissolves into slime. Okay, so you have these great pictures of, of what evil is like, like venomous snakes, like uh, with, with sharp teeth and fangs. And, and the, the psalmist is saying, God, knock out their teeth. Uh, rip those teeth right out of their mouth. Let their life be like water that's just running along the way and then it disappears and it's gone. And then I love that last one. Let them be like snails that dissolve into slime. Evil is something that we're confronted with all the time. And this is asking for God to act, to correct it, to make things right, to bring the right judgment on those who are unrepentant and who are convinced that they're going to continue down their path of evil. In verse 11, we have this comfort. It says, mankind will say, surely there is a reward for the righteous. Surely there is a God who judges on earth. So there is a hope when we see injustice, when we see evil, there is a hope that those who live righteously will be rewarded and that God is ultimately going to judge the evil. And I, I want to give you a little bit of hope. Maybe you hear this and you're like, you know what? I identify with the snakes or I identify with the snails. I've done so much evil in my life. I don't want you to fall into that judgment. And, and the great promise we have through Jesus Christ is that he took that wrath that we deserve. He took it when he was on the cross. And he died in our place and he victoriously rose again three days later so that whoever turns to him and trusts in him can know that the consequence of their evil, the judgment of their evil has fallen on Jesus and they can live a righteous life and they can live a renewed life and they can live in the hope that they're going to avoid God's judgment. So wherever you are today, if you're looking for God's judgment to come on the evil of the earth, this psalm is for you. If you're fearful of that judgment and you're like, I don't want that, this psalm is for you too because God promises he will forgive you and that the righteous will receive a reward. But I hope this has blessed you today. If it has, will you like it? Leave a comment and share it. You have a great day, Calvary.